What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariel and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to layer. But this is different from the other how to layer videos because I feel like most how to layer videos I've seen on YouTube are like how to layer for the winter. And I thought I'd do a video just like how to layer aesthetically because I feel like a lot of those really cool outfits you see on Instagram involve a lot of layering, not necessarily for the winter, but just adding more accessories and more elements to an outfit that just makes it a lot more interesting and a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So I know it's pronounced aesthetic right because I see a lot of people say aesthetic and I don't know why I just find it really grating to hear because I've looked it up it's literally pronounced aesthetic and aesthetic just does not sound aesthetically pleasing no hate to you if you say aesthetic I just don't like the way it sounds but anyways I'm going to talk about some tips on how to layer to elevate your outfit and how to make it more aesthetically pleasing so if this helps you out give it a thumbs up comment below your tips on how to layer and let me know what videos you want to see in the future subscribe if you aren't already follow me on Instagram and on TikTok and let's get started First of all, for layering tops on top of each other, the easiest thing to do is to layer a sleeveless top on top of another kind of top. This can be anything from a tank top to a camisole to a corset or bustier to a sweater vest or a waistcoat. I feel like this is the easiest kind of layering you can do to elevate your outfit and you can throw on a sleeveless top on top of like so many other different kinds of tops and it's really versatile. You can even throw it on over a dress and that also looks really good a lot of the time. I've done this in plenty of my outfits. There's just so many ways you can style a sleeveless top. I usually throw on this leather bustier on top of other tops and dresses to cinch in my waist more and accentuate my waist. You can even layer multiple tops on top of each other. You don't have to stick to just two. Um, it can get a little stuffy though, but it definitely makes your outfit a little more interesting. Another tip is to try to be more open-minded and try things that you might assume will look bad or you never thought to put together before. For example, a skirt on top of pants. You might be thinking immediately of the early thousands trauma you have from wearing skirts over pants, but it actually can be a pretty interesting silhouette a lot of the times and I actually really like the look. Um, you might be surprised and you might think it actually looks good on you. Or maybe something like wearing two belts at once. Yeah, it's not the most practical but it actually can kind of add a little interesting aspect to your outfit and make your outfit look more accessorized and cooler. So just try to be open-minded, take a step back, look at your wardrobe and think like maybe this and this will look good together even though you don't think it will. Just try it on and it might actually surprise you. Another tip for layering is to layer on lighter jackets or cardigans under heavier ones, um, which might seem pretty obvious um, if you live in a colder environment and you just automatically do that to stay warm, but it's kind of interesting to see like a button-down shirt peeking out from a jacket or something like that. So that can elevate your outfit a bit, but it definitely might not be more suitable for warmer weather, so keep that in mind. Now if you do live in a warmer area or it's summer and you don't want to put on too many heavy layers, maybe you can try layering some sheer materials on top of your outfits or under your outfits, like a sheer mesh top underneath a uh, short sleeve or button down shirt or a mesh top layered over a tank top or something like that or maybe you can layer a lightweight lace skirt over a pair of pants or another skirt and that won't add too much to your outfit where it feels too heavy and too hot but it will still make the outfit look a little more interesting so that's another idea you can do and along the same lines just play around with different materials and fabric types and textures in general i feel like contrasting textures make an outfit a lot more interesting for example Example, leather versus lace versus knit fabrics are all like super different and super contrasting so what if you put those together it can actually make for a pretty interesting outfit layering like a leather bustier over a sweater that would be pretty interesting and it might like soften the edgy leather look a little bit and make it look more feminine and same with lace and leather if you put those together I feel like it would have the same effect or something else a uh, corduroy and another type of fabric you can just play around with different fabric types and it will create a different different vibe to your outfit. Another tip is to use safety pins to make the layers fall how you want them to fall. So you kind of get to play fashion designer a little bit, draping layers how you want them to fall on your body. For example, you can pin up a skirt to make it shorter or asymmetrical on one side, kind of like a ruched effect. Or if you want a more cinch in waist, I've seen a lot of people take two safety pins and pin them on both sides of your waist and then thread a string through and tie it in the back so your shirt becomes more 
cinched in, which is a really great idea. And you can just get creative with it and use safety pins to your advantage and to just make clothing fit you the way you want it to fit you. You can also use strings tied in different places to achieve more of a subversive look, uh, a la subversive basics aesthetic. You can tie them onto pant belt loops in different ways um, as an extra accessory, or you can tie them over leg warmers or the bottom of your pants or on your arm or over a sweater or something to cinch in your waist. I always like cinching in my waist. Uh, personally, I feel like it's very flattering on me, so that's an idea you can do. Um, I just think there's a lot of ways you can just tie strings on you and it kind of makes your outfit a little more interesting. Another way you can make your torso area a little more interesting is using accessories like body harnesses, body chains, corset belts, and just wide belts in general. Um, it's good for cinching in your waist or if not, you can just kind of make your outfit a little more edgy, especially with the leather harnesses. I just feel like sometimes a top can look a little too plain and need something layered on top of it. Definitely layering a bunch of accessories in general can definitely add to your outfit. Um, it can be too much sometimes, so it's kind of up to your discretion how much you want to layer on. But um, think of things like leg warmers and arm warmers, tights, tights in different colors and different textures too, like knitted tights, leg warmers or socks layered over tights as well. I just feel like I never really thought of using leg warmers or arm warmers in my outfits before, but they can definitely add to an outfit. You can even wear scarves in different ways. You can wear a scarf as a top, you can wear it in your hair, you can wear it around your neck, you can wear it as a belt to cinch in your waist again. I feel like there's a lot you can do with scarves and you can just google like how to wear a scarf in different ways. I feel like there's been a lot already on the internet that you can use as resources for tying scarves. And finally, don't forget about wearing jewelry. I feel like jewelry can also elevate an outfit and you can layer a lot of jewelry on top. You can even like get a longer necklace and wear it around your waist instead of a necklace. Um, just try to be creative with it. And don't forget about different lengths of necklaces. I personally want to invest in more longer length necklaces because I feel like most of mine just come up to like here at the most. But I feel like longer length necklaces can also make a torso area interesting. Like I said, I feel like sometimes tops are a little too plain. So I'm going to invest in some longer necklaces as well so I can layer like different length necklaces on top of each other. For layering inspiration, I really love Rui Gao on Instagram and Lil Rotini on Instagram and TikTok. I feel like their outfits are so interesting and I learned a lot about like how to layer outfits from them and like I get a lot of inspiration from them so definitely check them out. So that's pretty much all I have for layering aesthetically. It's kind of still a learning process for me and I'm still learning how to layer and put together outfits. So maybe I'll do another one in the future with more tips, but definitely leave your comments below if you have some tips of your own. And I really hope this helped you out and I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you did, like, comment, subscribe. And if you want even more fashion and aesthetic content, try checking out my Instagram at the dress and TikTok at dress And I'll see you guys next time.